So. Whenever you're ready. Good? Yeah. yeah. Are we rolling? Okay. All right. So, uh, in this lesson, I can hopefully do it in five minutes. I'll show you how to get the equation of a cubic so we know the roots. And um, as Michael just said, the roots of the equation are where across the x axis. So, for our curvy cubic here, uh, we've got the roots of negative 5, 3, and positive 8. All right? And so, first thing we do is we substitute those into my uh, general form of the equation when I know the roots. And I'm not going to, I can say like A equals negative 5, B equals 3, and C, and, or, no, sorry, B equals negative 5, C equals 3, and D equals 8. But just substitute it into the equation. And remember, in, in the roots, when you substitute the equation, it's going to be the opposite sign. Okay? So we've got uh, Y equals A. X minus and minus 5, which is plus 5, uh, X minus 3, brackets, and X minus 8. Okay, so that's what the equation looks like when I substitute the roots. And the next thing I'm going to do, similar to a parabola and a cubic with um, knowing the stationary point, is substitute some other point. And the only other point I know is that Y intersect. It doesn't even have to be that Y intersect. Um, it can be any point on that curve. So that's going to represent some x, y, and I substitute that in there and solve for the a coefficient, and um, I rewrite my whole equation again. So uh, y is going to be negative 6 equals a, uh, oh, hold up, I know x now, x is 0. So I've got 0 plus 5. 0 minus 3, and 0 minus 8, and my whiteboard pen is running out, but that's okay. And I do a big simplifying thing here, because it's pretty simple, it's all going to be zeros. It's going to be, well, it's all going to be single digits, I mean. Uh, negative 3 and negative 8. Okay, and, and bed mass and the rules of mass tells me that I need to uh, multiply all this together first. And it looks like it's going to be positive. It looks like it's going to be 24 times 5. 24 times 5 is 108. 24, no, 24 times 5 is not 108. 120. Thank you very much. Help from, the, uh, help from my wonderful students. And now I solve for A by dividing both sides by 120. And we want to, oops, uh, we want to stay away from decimals, of course. And I got my value there. Probably simplify. It's going to be negative 3 over 60, which is negative 1 over 20. Negative, let's see, negative 3 over 60, which equals negative 1 over 20. Okay? This video is done with no pre production, by the way. <laughs> okay, off the cuff. So I get my value of A. And now I just rewrite my equation with A and the roots. Okay, so when I rewrite my equation, I have Y is negative 120, and we just substitute what I have for here. That tells me where it crosses the x-axis. X plus 5, X minus 3, and X minus 8. And let me make sure, oh, don't forget the negative there, sorry, equals, okay. So when you have this, you don't want to expand that. You know, I mean, this is what you want. You want to see where, you know, these tell me where the roots are. This tells me the, the general shape of that cubic. And uh, 